to our ears. Listen to how the power of music beats on inside one Middlesex County artist. Spotlight New Jersey begins now. Thank you very much for joining us here on Spotlight New Jersey. I'm Della Cruz. Today we're putting the spotlight on singer and songwriter Jeanette Ferry. Over the last few years, Jeanette has used the power of music as a method to educate and creatively challenge our youth here in New Jersey. Through a combination of theory and storytelling, Jeanette has become a role model in keeping the musical arts alive, particularly in the Piscataway School District. But before Jeanette could pay her talents forward, she needed to use them as a method of healing in her own life. In the Rain is just one of several examples of Jeanette's passion for music and how it parallels to her life and the children she mentors. She's never been a Saturday girl, only a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday pearl. Please stay. said so much I said everything so why I sat in the rain Wow Joining us now to talk about her life in music is singer and songwriter Jeanette Ferry. Welcome. Thank you. Ooh, you touched me, girl. Love Thank it. You. Thank you. Where was that video shot? That was shot in a park in Middletown. In Middletown. Yeah. They will love that. Beautifully done. Now, from the video clip we saw, I sense a whole lot of rhythm and soul, as I said. Who are your main influences? Oh, that's, that's a hard question. I am influenced by so many musical artists. Um, from growing up, I would listen to a lot of 50s and 60s music, but I love Billie Holiday, I love yes. Ella Fitzgerald, I love, um, oh my goodness, Louis Armstrong. Um, I, my first musical influence was probably Whitney Houston. That's when I wanted to be a singer, when I heard her sing. About what age did you oh, want to sing? Oh, about maybe six years old, seven oh, years old. A little yeah. thing. Yeah, maybe even younger than that. I mean, I was always <laughs> singing and dancing growing up, so. We're talking some powerful voices there, too. Oh, my goodness. Did your idols inspire you to learn music and play piano? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, like Alicia Keys when I was in high school. Yes. When she first came out, and I heard her sing and play the piano, and I knew that she wrote her own music. I said, well, I, I can do that, too. <laughs> How do you feel when you're playing the piano? Because I think that's such a beautiful instrument. And watching people with the keys make magic. I love the piano. I love the sound of the piano. I love to play the piano. It's almost like your emotions come out through your fingertips. And it's, uh, it's, it speaks through you. Exactly. Did yes. you teach yourself? Well, I got piano lessons when I was seven years old. So that's when I first started taking piano lessons. Um, but there was actually a break that I took for a very long time when I was maybe about 12 up until about 18 where I did not take piano lessons and I actually just taught myself. Go girl. <laughs> what is the earliest memory you have of performing in front of an audience? I remember being about six years old and going on stage for a talent show in my school and lip syncing to my boyfriend's back. <laughs> That's my <laughs> earliest memory. Do you remember having any butterflies or at six you really didn't care? <laughs> I, I didn't care. <laughs> I was always putting on plays and shows with my family and with my friends, so I just did it for fun. It was just natural. Now, speaking of family, who gave you the discipline? 
to focus on your talents? My mother. <laughs> oh, tell us about her. Uh, my mother has been, um, she's been on my side since the very beginning. There was one point where I wanted to actually quit playing the piano, and I wrote her a letter. I said, I don't want to do it anymore. This is hard. <laughs> and I slipped it underneath the door, and she read it, and she said, no way, you're going to continue taking piano lessons, so maybe if it wasn't for her, I would have quit a long you time ago. You wrote your mom a letter? I did. I wrote her a letter, a very long letter, <laughs> asking her and telling her why I wanted to quit. Because <laughs> it got too hard. That's so. what prompted you to write the letter. Yes. You just sat down and yes. composed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back on that now, what do you think? <laughs> laughing myself. <laughs> but I like to use that story when I'm uh, teaching my students. So when they say that it's getting too hard and when they lose their focus, I can use that and say, I used to be there. I used to do the very same thing. I was going to quit. And with a little bit of practice, look what I can do now. Exactly. And knowing you've been there, they listen. Yes. See? Yes. And they learn. When we return, we will talk to Jeanette about her transition back into music. the way that video was done. Welcome back to Spotlight New Jersey. I'm Della Cruz. You just heard Somebody's Somebody off Chapter One, an album by Woodbridge native Jeanette Ferry. Today we are putting the spotlight on this very talented singer and songwriter. And right before we went to commercial break, we were talking about why you took a break from singing and playing piano. Did you substitute anything in its place? Food. <laughs> that <Actually>. works. <laughs> Anything I, in particular? <laughs> um, everything. There was a, a long time where I thought that I wanted to be a chef. So I worked in a lot of restaurants and bars and kitchens. And I started um, cooking professionally. And I took a break from music because I thought that's what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, I had always played. I always went back to my piano anytime I was feeling emotional or um, anytime I had any free time. I would always go back to the piano and back to playing music and singing. But I never took it seriously. I always, um, I always just did it for fun. So what encouraged you to start taking it seriously? And looking at that video, by the way, I love the contrast <laughs> between the color and the black and white and the special effects. I love it too, that video effects. was very, very, very well done. That was done by Ron Tomaine, it was a beautiful video. Um, when I took a break from music, um, and I thought that I wanted to cook, I, but I could see the two going hand in hand. Did yeah. you ever sing in the kitchen while you were oh, cooking? all the time. I actually, <laughs> at, one, at one point I had a food truck and I used to play jazz music in the what? background all the time. And <laughs> yes. What did you cook on your food truck? Everything, all homemade soups and, and sandwiches and meatballs. And what I, was it called? I have a, I was called Netters. Netters. <laughs> <laughs> my, my red truck Netters, yes. Where did that name come from? <laughs> it was just a nickname from college. A couple of friends used to call me Netters, so I said, that's what I'm going to name my truck. What was yeah. that whole experience like? That's the, so cool. <laughs> it, was a it was a very, very, very cool experience. Um, I used to say it was the coolest thing that I ever did. It was, um, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur, and I love food, and I love people, and I love serving people, and I just came up with an idea one day and said, hey, why don't I open up a food truck? Let me do that for a little while. So I've tried a lot of things. I tried a lot of kitchen jobs, um, uh, a lot of different projects, and I've done marketing, and I've done sales, and I touched on a little bit of everything, but music was always what I went back to. It music, was calling you, it It was seems. calling me, and especially when I had those times in my life that were very difficult, um, financial difficulties and emotional difficulties and um, things with my health. And any time I felt that emotional strain, I always went back to my piano and my keyboard, and that's really what drove me to do it again. Uh, also, people would say to me, how long have you been playing the piano for? How long have you been singing? And I would say, my whole life. But I said, I should be a lot better than what I am now if I've been doing this my whole life. So that was also another drive and another push to reteach myself everything that I learned growing up. A woman who wears many hats, has many <laughs> talents, but you know a lot of music is born of the pain you go through yes. in life. Yes. So everything you went through 
led to the music you created. Yes, yes. When you see me with other people in, in a group setting, I'm, usually I'm a very happy and, and bubbly, I'm a very positive person, but I don't always show everybody my pain. And everybody goes through the same pain. Oh, yeah. Everybody feels the same thing, and that's, that's why I love music so much, because that's the one thing that everybody has in common. But that was where I got a chance to let my emotions come out through my music. And it was, a, it was, a, it was a healing. For it me. definitely yes. is a healing. I know it is when I listen to it when I have those days when I'm down. I see you playing by yourself a lot mm -hmm. at the keyboard. Yeah. Did you ever play with a band? I played with a band a couple times. I was with a jazz band for maybe about a month or so. Um, we tried to start a rock and roll band a couple with a couple friends of mine back a few months ago, but that didn't really work out. So I've been mainly a solo project. <laughs> you talk about jazz. <laughs> you I love okay. jazz. <laughs> You're like Elise Testone of American Idol, okay, who li lived in Kenilon before she moved to South Carolina. You don't want to be categorized or labeled, do you, in genres of music? No, I love jazz. I love blues because of the uh, expression that you have through the music. So that's why I love it so much. It's also uh, a lot of fun to listen to, a lot of fun to watch, um, a lot of fun to play. But really, I'm influenced by all genres of music, and I teach all genres of music. So so anywhere from you know the early 1800s to music up to today, wow. um, piano music, rock and roll, jazz, country. I mean, there's so many different styles and genres of music. So I like to talk about all of them, and I'm influenced by all of them. It's universal. Let's talk about your debut album, Chapter One. Now, your song selection of both covers and originals is quite unique because it seems to follow the theme of fighting through human pain, as we were talking about. Now, was making this record a way for you to heal from your past? and a door to pursue the musical arts. Um, absolutely, it's definitely a way to heal from the past. And I didn't realize at the time, the songs that I wrote and the songs that I sang, I just did them because I had this uh, overwhelming emotional feeling about them. And I didn't realize until afterwards that I was writing songs for myself. Mm -hmm. I was singing songs that were for myself. So I thought that they were things that I loved and it was really songs that helped me heal emotionally because you were writing that which was in your core, it was coming out, yes. and that's cathartic. Yes. Exactly. I think I should be a therapist. <laughs> On that note, we will take a short break, but when we come back, we'll talk to Jeanette about how her return to music is paying it forward in a special way. Love that. That's a fun classroom. I want to be there. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here on Spotlight New Jersey again. I'm Della Cruz. You have just heard those adorable kids from Children's Corner Preschool in Piscataway sing Knock Knock Holiday. Their music teacher, singer-songwriter Jeanette Ferry is our guest. They are so cute, they Jeanette. They are. They are. They're so cute and so much fun. When did you make the transition to teaching music to kids? It was about uh, a couple of years ago and I was going through a, a career change and I didn't know what I wanted to do next and I was looking for more restaurant jobs and things like that. And then I saw an ad on Craigslist, looking, someone looking for a music teacher. And I said, you know, I used to give lessons in college. Let me give this a shot. I remember teaching my first student. It was a little five-year-old boy. Aww. Actually, he was. Look at that face. She's so cute. <laughs> she was, actually, she was, uh, the, the boy was four at the time. And I remember teaching him his first lesson. And I said, wow, this is powerful. Yeah. You know, it was, it, was a really, it was a really amazing feeling when I left that first day, and I immediately knew that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to teach music to it beginners, like to children. The universe was guiding you, it seems like, in some way. Yes, everything happens when it's supposed to. Doesn't it, in our I lives? I believe that. It seems like you teach a variety of ages. Are there different methods that you use to teach someone depending upon their age? A beginner is a beginner, so whether you are four years old or whether you are 70 years old, and I've had students of all ages, I've had beginners of all ages, I use pretty much the same general things to teach them, but of course I modify it depending on their age. <laughs> but you really can't, you really can't plan too much, you know? The lesson goes as the lesson goes, so it's always, each lesson, um, each interaction with a student is always different and always unique. 
you are so animated in front of the classroom. <laughs> what is that like standing up there in front of those kids? When they are all looking back at you and they're doing what you're doing, it's a really cool feeling. It's, it's just so much fun. They make me laugh. Every day. Every day I get to laugh when I go to work, so they're wonderful. <laughs> and laughter is good yes. for the soul. Do you see talent blossoming in these young kids? Because we know we've seen some voices like Christina Aguilera when she was nine years old. Yes. Whoa, what comes out of these little bodies? I just had a little girl <laughs> yesterday. I was teaching a piano class to a group of kids in Piscataway, and I was just playing around on the piano a little bit, just showing them some things. And we started to sing a song, and this little girl started singing. I said, wait, you like to sing? She's like, yeah, I like to sing. I'm like, do you want to sing? Fearless, you know, it's second grade, maybe. And I was playing the piano, and the voice that came out of her, there's some things that you just can't teach. No. You know, I've, I've come across a lot of students where I just see that it come out of them. And I'm like, wow, where did that come from? And so it's, it's just it's, emanating it's really from special. them just naturally, and you're thinking, wow, what a gift. Yes, <laughs> yes. That has to be inspirational, too. Uh, oh, they inspire me every day. Every day they teach me something new. They'll come up with a new artist that I've never heard before or a new style of music that I wasn't familiar with. And so they teach me every time I see them. And I gather you share that with your mom when you go home at night, too. <laughs> <laughs> What's ahead for Jeanette Ferry? What's ahead? I just want to work with... I want to work with children. I want to um, work in the education field um, because I enjoy teaching so much. I feel really great to where I am now. Everything that I've been training for my whole life, I feel very good and I feel like I'm on the, I'm on the right train right exactly. now. I want to um, continue to sing only because that's, that's just inside of me. So I would love to still entertain and I would love to still work with children and I would love to help and special we about needs. Exactly. Yes, yeah. I would, that's something that I am very interested in working with um, special needs students because I know how that music therapy really helps them, you know, in their life. People have no idea. It helps all of us in so many yes, ways. It helps all like of us. Say, exactly. Absolutely. It is the universal language. It's the one thing that everybody has in common. So let's uh, everybody enjoy has a, a lot heartbeat. More. Thank you. <laughs> Love that, Jeanette. Everybody has a heartbeat. So let's use it yes. for the greater good. Yes. Jeanette Ferry, thank you so much. This has been so much fun. We will have much more with Jeanette Ferry when we return here on Spotlight New Jersey. Don't you love her? <laughs> My heart. I'll take your heart. Before we conclude today's program, a quick reminder. If you'd like to find out more about Jeanette Ferry, log on to my Facebook page, Twitter, or News12.com. We leave you with an in-studio performance from Jeanette Ferry with her original song, Broken Wing. I'm Della Cruz. New Jersey, the spotlight is on you. Never, 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 never.
never give up I say all the time, one more time, I mean it this time Next time I remember the time and stop Time when I feel high, then forget the time And wait for